just uh, we had a discussion about the list concept of course the data types we are discussing in the data types in the in the data types we cover yes fundamental data types already we discussed sir fundamental fundamental data types already already we discussed sir sir have you have you remembered right the fundamental data types of python sir we covered about the int and then float and then int type we covered float we covered next and after that uh, what is the next one complex we discussed that next after completing complex bool also we covered and then str are getting up to this we we covered already fundamental data types right now the next cinema also i started sir list list already i discussed the most commonly used data type the most commonly used data type data type is uh, sir list 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 right if you want to represent a group of values a group of values okay then we can go for list concept right if you want to represent a group of values then we should go for list list concept right okay sir next in the case of list sir insertion order is a preserved insertion order is preserved duplicate objects are allowed no problem at all duplicate objects are allowed by using index you can able to differentiate the duplicate objects right sir this is the object present at the 0th location this, this is the object present at the 10th location like that we can able to see next uh, heterogeneous objects are allowed what are the meaning of heterogeneous objects can you please tell what are the meaning of heterogeneous objects right heterogeneous objects means uh, heterogeneous objects means uh, you know different uh, type of objects uh, different uh, category different uh, type of objects uh, some are int values some are string values some are boolean values uh, these uh, things are by default considered yeah mm -hmm. Hetero, heterogeneous objects uh, okay like uh, next uh, list uh, is uh, dynamic uh, dynamic means uh, based on our requirement you can increase the size you can decrease the size no problem at all sir or sometimes i may use the word growable also are getting list the dynamic are growable next time after that values sir, sir do you know list is mutable or immutable have you remember right list is the mutable or immutable are you respond man mutable or immutable mutable mutable happily we are allowed to change the content no problem at all next time after that values we have to represent always within square brackets are you getting values should be represented within square brackets it's a very important property sir values we have to represent within the square bracket like this right okay make make sure the values this is about the list terminology right okay even i covered uh, all these properties with with the small small points also right next time after the index concept is it applicable or not can you please tell for the list uh, by using index can i able to access elements or not yes why not the index concept is applicable next the slice operator is it applicable or not yes slice operator is also applicable no problem at all for the list sir this is the first data structure whatever we have remember a bit very very carefully about this terminology sir list concept list concept itself is yes itself is all these properties by default is going to be satisfied if you are having clarity about these properties discussion of next points sir next data structures will become very easy for me if you are having any doubt can you please let me know so that i will i can explain if you are not having any doubt i will move further can you please scratch it any doubt about this one insertion order preserved yes in which order we added in the same order only in the memory will be saved duplicate objects are allowed yes multiple 10 10 we can take multiple times no problem heterogeneous objects are allowed different types of objects are allowed based on our requirement we can increase the size we can decrease the size no problem at all mutable mutable means changeable next index and slice operator both are applicable we can represent values within square bracket any doubt can you please confirm please respond what is the mean oh, rajesh you didn't uh, attend last sessions okay what is the mutable mutable what is the mutable changeable suppose here l is equal to 10 20 30 is there now l of 0 is equal to 7 what I'm trying to say, L of 0 means 10. 10 I'm trying to replace with the 777. Okay. Once we create list object, we are allowed to change its content. We are allowed to change its content. This concept itself is nothing but mutable. Remember that. Okay. Well, sir, that's all. Now, the next thing 
if you feel comfortable up to this now the next thing what i have to discuss for you right sir tuple concept are you getting some people may pronounce as a tuple tuple anyway both are same tuple tuple concept right sir what is the difference between tuple and the list what are the, what the difference between tuple and the list very common very common question for the interview sir very simple very simple sir list and the tuple list and the tuple both are always same both are always same sir here do you know all these points all these points by default applicable by default applicable for the tuple also insertion order is preserved duplicate objects are allowed heterogeneous objects are allowed heterogeneous objects are allowed next and after that sir like uh, index index and slice operator applicable no problem at all index and slice operator applicable no problem at all okay then very the difference right the big Biggest difference is the biggest difference between list and tuple is list is mutable, tuple is immutable. Once we create a tuple object, once we create a tuple object, the content is always fixed. Remember this one: the content is always fixed, sir. Always fixed. Once we create a tuple object, the content is always fixed. Always fixed, right? Okay. We are not allowed to change the content. So read only version of list concept is nothing but tuple concept, sir. Means, uh, sir, once we create a tuple object, we are not allowed to change its content because it is immutable. Except for this mutability, immutability. There is no difference between list and tuple. Everyone can able to understand, right? Sir, what is the main difference between list and tuple? List is, please respond. List is mutable or immutable? List is mutable or immutable? Mutable, mutable. But what about tuple? Tuple is mutable or immutable? Tuple, tuple is mutable or immutable? Immutable. Immutable means what? Non-changeable. Non-changeable. Like this, which is nothing but what? Uh, immutable, right? Sir, so next, uh, if I can consider, if I can consider L is equal to 10, 20, 30, sir. If I can take like this, if I can take like this, can you please spell out? Can you please spell out? Is it a list or is it a tuple? Huh? Is it a list or tuple? Is it list or tuple? This one, uh, it is. Is it a list or tuple? This one is the list. List. Remember, list means uh, within square bracket. Then how you can represent a tuple, sir? T is equal to, sir, any variable name you can use, but uh, instead of square bracket, we have to use uh, parenthesis. Are you getting instead of square bracket, we require to use parenthesis. Wherever parenthesis are there, then simply it is considered a yeah, tuple concept. Remember that, sir. So the biggest difference between this uh, square bracket notation and the uh, parenthesis notation is yeah? square bracket notation means it is a list. Uh, and the parenthesis notation itself is nothing but tuple, tuple concept, right? Remember, then what is the difference between list and tuple? List is mutable, tuple is immutable. Once we created a tuple, you can't add the new elements, you can't remove existing element, you can't perform any changes in the existing element. Such a type of concept is nothing but tuple concept, right? So let me go for a small, chota example then you people may feel more more comfortable right okay here just observe that p5 i'm taking sir sir python console i'm taking now huh? l is equal to 10 comma 20 comma 30 sir this is about l l itself is nothing but 10 comma 20 comma 30 now l of 0 is equal to 7 can you please tell is it allowed or not allowed please respond each and every person is it allowed or not allowed? Allowed because it is a list. List allowed. If I ask L, what is the output we are going to get, sir? 10 replaced with a 777, no problem at all. 10 replaced with a 777 itself is acceptable, right? Sir, now my question is if I can take, if I can, if I can take T is equal to 10, 20, 30, sir. Can you please tell, is it a tuple or is it a list? Please respond. Is it a tuple or list? How I can check the type of T? Anyone can you please tell? How I can check a type? Type of T? Type of T? Is it tuple or list? How I can check, sir? Yes, sir. Type of ah, T. If you want, you can ask any variable. Type. By using type of function, we can take. Sir, then automatically type of T is what type, sir? Tuple. Type of T is what type, sir? Tuple. Type of L is what type, sir? List. Okay, remember. 
now t of 0 you can you can access you can access 10 t of 0 is nothing but x uh, 10 10 readable readable no problem at all t of 0 is equal to triple 7 like this i'm taking sir can you please tell is it allowed or not allowed uh, can you please tell is it allowed or not allowed i'm trying to change the content of the triple first value i want to replace first value i want to replace with the, i want to replace the 10 i want to replace with the triple seven immediately python will be left and right observe that sir type here tuple object does not support item assignment are you getting tuple object does not support item assignment because tuple is mutable remember that any doubt so what is the difference between list and a tuple list is mutable tuple is immutable list elements uh, we can represent within square bracket but tuple elements uh, we can represent within parenthesis beyond that nothing except that all the remaining all the remaining things are by default considered yes all the remaining properties are same as the list only okay well so uh, Benai, Benai Behra. Yes. Uh, so we can't change the content because I'm trying to change the content by using what? Uh, by using index. By using index. This is one way. One way. Even you can suppose L dot append of L dot append of 50. Can you please tell is it valid or not? L dot append of 50. Is it valid or not? L means what? L means what? List. List. For the list you can add. You can add. No problem. You can ask L. Then automatically 37, 20, 30, 50 by default we are going to get. Now you can ask P dot append R. Ah, 50 sir. P dot append R 50. Can you please tell is it valid or invalid? Ah, respond. P dot append R 50. Is it valid or invalid? Invalid. Immediately error we are going to get. Because oh, it is the tuple man. Tuple how you can able to change the content. How you can able to add something. How you can remove something. Immediately, sir, append the capability not available for the tuple name error. Are you getting attribute error? Attribute error. Tuple object has no attribute append. Append such type of terminology not applicable for the tuple. Next, t dot remove of 10. t dot remove of 10. It is also invalid, right? It's also adding data, removing data, such type of terminologies are not possible in the case of tuple. But this type of terminology applicable for the list. Getting? <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Social, possible, possible. You can able to add multiple values also. That part I will discuss while discussing list in detail. Just get the basic idea about these data types. Okay, clear? Everyone can able to understand? Sir, are you in the position to tell what the difference between list and the tuple? Yes, very important question for the entire room. List is mutable. Tuple is immutable. List is mutable. Tuple is immutable. Remember this one, sir. Okay. Next, uh, read only version of list. Read only version. Read only version of list is nothing but read only version of list is nothing but tuple concept. Okay. So, if you want to read only version of list is nothing but tuple concept, right? So, sometimes, uh, do you know, content is always fixed. Sometimes content, content is always fixed. Something like, uh, uh, do you know, uh, vendor missions? Have you ever heard uh, vendor missions, right? Vendor missions. Sir, if you if you can keep coin, then you will get uh, some item. Are you getting vendor missions? Even for uh, currency notes also, now vendor missions are available, right? If, if you go for metro, metro, yeah, you want a ticket, you want a ticket. 10 rupees or 20 rupees, something like you have to, you have to, uh, sir, insert, uh, then obviously, then obviously you are going to get, then obviously you are going to get the corresponding, okay, item, whatever we are going to get. Sir, now in the vendor mission, the allowed, sir, only allowed coins are, okay, 5 rupees coin is allowed, 10 rupees coin is allowed, or 2 rupees coin is allowed, okay. The only allowed coins are only these things, assume that except this you are not allowed to provide any other thing so the content is always fixed the content is always fixed then we should go for tuple concept are you getting no boss at runtime you are allowed to add some more extra things also no problem at all then better to go for list concept okay remember next uh, we have servers are there servers are there sir the people who are 
already working in the companies here. server web logic web sphere jboss like servers are there so there are various states are there for the servers something like shut up shut down state are you getting something like a stop state something like a running state are you getting running state something like a terminate state are you getting terminate state do you know these are the only allowed states for the server are you getting assume that assume these states are always fixed at run time based on the situation it is not going to be changed are you getting at run time based on the situation it is not going to be changed so if you have such type of requirements happily you can represent that list by using tuple concept remember that sir are you getting yes any other doubts akanksha maybe network problem are you able to understand everyone can able to understand right sir what is the difference between list and tuple what is the difference between list and tuple okay list is mutable tuple is immutable let me go for a small chota example uh, you people can can able to understand that sir here just uh, observe carefully okay i am taking test dot py okay yes here i'm taking t is equal to 10 comma 20 comma 30 30 comma 40 i'm taking sir sir now print r t of 0 can you please tell is it acceptable or not yeah sir here 10 again i'm taking next turn after the durga i'm taking next at 10.5 i'm taking next at true i'm taking can you please tell t of 0 is it acceptable or not yes acceptable no problem because i'm not performing the right operation read operation only even 10 two times it is there even 10 two times it is there but it's always going to provide first the element present yet the first index okay what is the output by default we are going to get here is just uh, have a look once uh, sir let me open another command from okay like sir ty test dot device are you getting happily 10 10 it's simply the answer by default you are going to get sir now i want to ask uh, t r 1 1 uh, t r 3 colon can you please tell what is the output by default you are going to get 3 colon what is the output we are going to get sir from third index to hey, 3 colon i'm taking colon means a slice operator from third index to until end from from third index to until end it will be continued are getting from third index to until end it will be it will be continued okay like uh, just uh, one minute uh, akanksha can you please log out and log in again yeah log out and log in again akanksha all the remaining people are able to uh, sir uh, they are all the remaining people are good sir uh, sometimes uh, for everyone just a small intimation suppose voice is coming screen is not coming or screen is going on but voice is not there then if you are having such a type of problems one solution is log out and log in again most of the times so the problem will be solved okay if still very very poor internet connection is there then automatically we can't do anything okay take a bit very special care okay yeah sir now can you please tell can you please tell what is the output by default you are going to get sir from third index to from third index to until end third index means 40 40 to until end yes we are going to get can you please observe that from third index means 40 40 to end we are going to get the output right okay remember that sai you are getting huh? so a bit confusion i hope you are okay that's all next uh, if you consider here just a begin if you are not specifying end begin to end minus one but if you are not specifying end then until last we require to consider remember that are you able to understand right okay this is because we are not specifying we are not specifying we are not specifying the end from begin index to end of the string we have to take care 
so index slicing all the things are applicable heterogeneous objects are allowed duplicate objects are allowed there is no problem at all so all properties of list are satisfied by tuple remember this one all properties of the list are satisfied by tuple no problem except only two changes one change here tuple is immutable we are not allowed to change the content next and after that second point here is tuple itself is immutable we can't change the content this is the first one second one instead of square bracket we require to use a parenthesis beyond that nothing sir okay well now i have one small doubt <laughs> don't don't get shocked actually this may not the correct time to talk just still i'm i'm trying to take i'm trying to take sir okay sir next does tuple have length specific let's say say max sir, could be Uh, then no uh, in in python so you can't uh, restrict the length of sizes you can take any number no problem at all okay length specific restrictions are not there just uh, modify can i modify can't modify such type of restrictions we can able to implement okay no well, sir it should be only 10 elements only more than that no such type of terminology okay you can take a tuple of 1 crore length also acceptable okay now there is one small twist is there take very very special case sir what's my twist is <laughs> listen listen a bit carefully sir i'm taking 10 sir 10 okay sir can you please tell print the uh, r type of thing okay listen maybe may not correct time to talk about this one but still i'm i'm taking try to understand clearly can you please tell what is the type of thing or please record if i can take a square bracket sir if i can take square bracket can you please tell what is the type of t please respond type of t what is the what is the answer type of t list because because square bracket sorry square bracket i took sir not parenthesis list 100% pakka it is the list only yes class list type no problem at all it is always a list type list type right now i am taking now i am taking take a bit very special case sir now i am taking here now i am taking like this can you please tell can you please tell what the what the what the type sir yeah. can you please confirm what the type good lista oi i am taking parenthesis <clears throat> sorry i am taking parenthesis can you please tell what is the what is the what is the type sir is it a tuple or is it list tuple okay take a bit very very special care how many elements are there how many elements are there only one element only one element do you know only one element sir suppose sometimes sir have you ever saw 10 plus 20 <clears throat> okay what is the output by default you are going to get can you can spell out sir what is the output you are going to get 30 30 correct or not 10 plus 20 itself is nothing but 30 30 is the output you are going to get sir even 10 10 plus 20 what the output you are going to get sir even now also we can able to tell 30 so we can represent the int value within parenthesis normal mathematics normal mathematics are you getting in the normal mathematics we can take int value within parenthesis acceptable right now my question is sir i am taking 10 within parenthesis just like int value just like int value who told to you to the tuple <laughs> are you getting maybe maybe i is equal to 10 10 i am taking within within parenthesis acceptable sir here whether you can take a 10 or whether you can take a 10 within parenthesis also same 10 only no problem at all itself is also 10 only then why why we uh, how you can consider it is a tuple take very special care take very special care what is the point here single valued tuple if the tuple contain only one element if the tuple contain only one element we have to take special care sir why we require to take special care now observe this one it is not a tuple type it is int type are you getting right it is not a tuple type it is int type this is the bigger problem right i hope everyone can able to understand then how i can convey how i can convey are it is a tuple hey, please consider tuple tuple only but not int man tuple only how you can convey that very simple this then after that take one comma are you getting that's all comma whenever we are taking comma 
indicate in the boss i'm going to take multiple values please consider this one as the tuple not consider as the int value single valued tuple compulsory this comma we have to specify if we are not specifying comma then it will become int type compulsory we record to specify comma remember that okay so now observe if it very carefully observe if it very carefully what the answer by default you are going to get sir now it is a tuple take very very special care single valued tuple comma must be required are you able to understand next bina behra p of 1 is not there just to indicate that it is a tuple to indicate that it is a tuple just i am taking comma it doesn't mean next value is a null next value is a none no such a type of things sir okay yes saurabh my tuple can contain single element also possible or not tuple can contain single element also if the tuple contain single element then how you can represent some mechanism must be required for that comma came in the picture clear right okay next up but if it is the list we are not having any problem because we never going to represent i have ten is there to represent int value we can take parenthesis it is a very common as per mathematics but we never going to represent int value there within square bracket okay it is not generalized notation this is the general you can take normal mathematics also you can take like this even python also if you are going to print 10 plus 20 within parenthesis it is going to tell just 30 directly right okay square bracket kind of notation generally we can't use that's why you put the list a single element within square bracket still considered the list only but this problem is coming only with the parenthesis only with the tuple any doubt friends can you please confirm so we have to take a bit very special care about the, we require to take very special care about the single valued tuple remember that because this comma must be required okay that's all now there is one more concept is there let me go for next level sir sir up to this we covered two data structures right one is a list we discussed second one is tuple we discussed both are belongs to same category only difference is one is mutable second one is immutable okay well. now the next one set the concept regarding what the concept sir next one set set the. sir very important question for the entire room what is the difference between list and the set what the difference between list and the set very important sir sir in the case of list sir very very important point list versus a set legend carefully in the case of list can you please tell duplicates are allowed or not allowed hey respond duplicates are allowed or not allowed duplicates are allowed in the case of list list duplicates are allowed next insertion order preserved or not insertion order is a preserved in which order we added in the same order only we are going to represent values but but sometimes our programming requirement is hey, don't uh, insert the uh, duplicate values i don't uh, want the uh, duplicate values and uh, i never want to worry about order order wise no restriction you can store in any order no problem for me right but duplicates are not allowed but duplicates are not allowed then we should go for okay set the concept are you able to get the contradiction of these two properties itself is nothing but sets a set the duplicates are not allowed remember this one set the duplicates are not allowed but list of duplicates are allowed insertion order not preserved in which order the data will be stored we can't expect like this like if the order is not important if the order is not important and you can take if the order order is not important and the duplicates are not allowed then happily we can go for set the concept any doubt any doubt <clears throat> regarding right yes if the without the duplicates i don't want yellow duplicates then happily we can go for set concept duplicates are allowed means better to go for list concept okay that's all now 
have a loop once or so. Sometimes here L is equal to, uh, sorry, S is equal to, sir, if I can take, uh, if I can take a square bracket, square bracket, this convention is called, square bracket convention, this convention is called, uh, this convention is called list concept. If I can take parenthesis concept, this convention is called what? Tuple concept. Are you getting? If it is a set, uh, which convention must be required? Curly braces are required. Are you getting? If I can take curly braces, then automatically this concept is called set, set concept, right? Remember that this concept itself is nothing but set, set, uh, you can represent curly braces style, okay? Here, S is equal to, S is equal to, here I'm taking 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Wow. How many values I'm taking? Can you please tell how many values I'm taking? Five values. Five values I'm taking, sir. Now, can you please tell print of yes? Can you please tell? Can you please print a print yes value? Now observe the output. Now observe the output. Immediately you are going to get only one value. Because the reason is, because the reason is duplicates are allowed or not allowed. Duplicates are allowed or not allowed. Not allowed. That's why all the remaining are duplicates only. Remove, remove the duplicate. Only this 10 by default is going to take. Are you seeing right? Set uh, never going to yellow duplicates. If you are trying to yellow, if you are trying to provide duplicate, simply those duplicate elements by default will be ignored. Remember that. Are you getting? Next, uh, one more important point. Duplicates, duplicates are not allowed. Next, one more important point, sir. Suppose assume that 10, 10.5 I'm taking, comma, Durga I'm taking. Okay, Durga I'm taking. Next time after that, some true, like this, some true, true, like I'm taking, sir, true. Next, uh, here I'm taking some, some Ravi, like this I'm taking, sir. That's all. Heterogeneous objects allowed or not done. No problem. Heterogeneous objects are allowed. Remember this one, sir. Heterogeneous objects are allowed. Okay? Yes, hope you have, yes, sir. Sir, now my question is, what is the first element I place? Sir? Can you please tell? What is the first element I place sir, at 10? What is the next element? 10.5. What is the next one? Durga. What is the next one? True. What is the next one? Ravi. Can you please observe? Whenever I am trying to print, whenever I am trying to print the values, is it in the same order that data is going to come or not? Can you please observe? Is it the same order? Is it the same order? No. Sir, here if you if you observe, this is the order what I am getting as the output, sir. Now observe, this order, under this order, completely different. Remember this order under this order completely different. So means that means that order is not a preserved. Are you able to understand? Order is not a preserved. Okay, remember insertion order not preserved. Duplicate objects are not allowed. Any doubt? Up to first two points, is the clear for all of you, right? Yeah, yeah. When I just wait for one minute, I will clarify. Up to these, these two points are clear, right? You can't. So order wise, no guarantee at all. Duplicate objects are not allowed. Duplicate objects are not allowed. Next, uh, one very important conclusion. Better to keep in your mind very strongly these points are. Yes, uh, index, sorry. Yes, order concept not applicable for the set. Suppose if I consider in our mathematics set of our childhood, sir, S is equal to set theory. Have you remembered 1, 2, 3? Like uh, at our childhood somewhere we covered S is equal to 3, comma 2, comma 1. Next S is equal to 1, comma 3, comma 2. Like this I'm taking sir. Now my question is, now, now my question is, can you please tell all these three sets are equal or not equal? Please. All these three sets are equal or not equal? Equal, equal. Because in the case of set, we never want to worry about order. Order. Sir, same elements are available in every set or not. That's what, what we require to consider. That's why in the normal mathematics also, in your set theory also, okay, these sets are always equal. Now I have one small question. Ah, can you please tell what is the first element in these sets? <laughs> Can you please tell what is the first element in these sets? Respond. What is the first element in this set? First element in this set. Uh, remember that once order is not important, how you can tell this is the first element, this is the last element? Are you getting this is the element locating at third index, this is the element locating at fourth index? That's why 
index such type of terminology not applicable for the set remember this one index applicable for the list index applicable for the tuple but the index such type of terminology not applicable for the set remember this one set indexing such type of things are not applicable now i'm trying to take s of zero Hey, can you please tell S of zero? S of zero. Immediately it's going to tell set object does not support indexing. Are you getting set object does not support indexing? Directly it's going to tell sir. Any doubt? So index concept, slicing concept, this type of terminology not applicable for the set. Suppose if you consider sir print ah uh, yes sir. Uh, one colon four on the sir. one colon four what is this concept what is this one sir slice slice operator what is this concept slice operator right slice operator yes one colon four can you please observe that yes of course let me remove this line okay if i remove that what is the answer by default you are going to get set object is not the subscriptable are you getting set object itself is not the subscriptable remember so slice operator index operator such a type of terminology not applicable for the set can you please confirm everyone in a position to understand right why this index is not applicable why slice is not applicable because order is not important if the order is not there how you can tell first element second element third element no such type of terminology it is applicable only for the list under tuple only okay well now i have one one another another sir can i change the content or not yes you can you can you can able to change the content but anyway directly by index is not possible sir changeable changeable because if you want uh, yes sir dot uh, yard are you getting yes sir dot yard of yes dot yard of sunny something like i'm taking sir assume that yes dot yard of sunny so if it is a list uh, we are using append method to yard but here yard is the method we are going to yard now print of yes sir print of yes sir. can you please observe sunny came or not yes okay itself is changeable itself is growable no problem at all okay next uh, if i want to remove yes remove of remove of ravi i'm taking can you please remove of ravi ravi no issue at all happily it will be removed sir this is the output we are going to get so don't worry about the order are you getting right order wise it is almost a dancing order wise it's almost a dancing have you observed sir this is the order before removing ravi but whenever i remove ravi then automatically the order by default it is so it is never going to worry about uh, it's never going to worry about order so kalyani set uh, won't tell you duplicates if you are trying to add a duplicate simply it is going to ignore we are not going to get any error in the case of duplicate okay it won't accept simply it is telling that ignore that element because that element is already available okay next one more small small point you should aware in the case of list list we can use append method are you getting append method applicable for the list next up for the set we have to use yard method are you getting function i mean data structure so data structure the methods is going to methods are going to be changed sir remember this one you can't use append method for the set we can't use yard method for the list because append method always going to add element at last but yard method where it is going to add we don't know internally based on hashing it is going to be added the element okay the internal implementations are different that's why different method names came in the picture yard function won't work for the list append function won't work for the set for the list means append method for the set means yard method because clear right saurabh Yes, based on the hash code, the elements by default will be saved. Clear? Any doubts? All the people are in a position to understand. Okay. Now, 
let me yeah uh, since duplicates are not allowed and order does not matter that means uh, it will be faster than list yeah for search operation searching searching the elements are uh, highly recommended to go for set concept are you getting a data structure level it will be there because okay if you want to perform a uh, retrieval operation sequential access better to go for list if you want to perform the most common operation is searching search operation google search something like search operation okay then we should go for a uh, set concept like that is the yes a bit high end elements will be inserted in between the elements because of hashing there is some internal hashing algorithm is going to be used by the set based on that the elements will be inserted push go yes all programming languages are going to use the data structures concept internally akash including python also okay now sir related to set i covered several points is there any doubt can you please clarify insertion order is not preserved correct or not is the insertion order preserved or not preserved not preserved duplicate objects are allowed or not duplicate objects duplicate objects are not allowed next uh, heterogeneous objects hetero heterogeneous objects heterogeneous objects are allowed heterogeneous objects are allowed next uh, index and the slicing index and slicing concepts are concepts are applicable or not applicable applicable or not applicable not applicable not applicable indexing and slicing such type of concepts are not not applicable not applicable next and after that is it mutable or not yes mutable and the is it dynamic or not dynamic means growable no problem sir so, these are various things what you people should aware about the set concept okay it is also one of the commonly used data structure only duplicate objects are not allowed means uh, means uh, means uh, whenever you are trying to insert a duplicate objects so it it will it will it will it will, it will ignore that elements you can use the word now come ignore ignore the elements so inside a set duplicates are there or not no chance at all not allowed if you are trying to insert nothing will be happen but that element won't be added okay now sometimes my requirement is sir i want set only sir i want set set only ba ba i want a mutable set immutable set i want immutable set immutable set if you want a immutable set then we should go for frozen set are getting what is the what is the data structure frozen set but very rare sir in general we never going to use don't worry about that just for the syllabus coverage only just i'm talking sir frozen set data type is there the name itself indicates have you observed frozen what is the meaning of frozen uh, freeze something like frozen means uh, you can't you can't change are getting solid something like freeze freeze this type of thing is called frozen set okay so you can't you can't change yes so it is exactly same as set except that set is mutable whereas whereas frozen set is immutable frozen set is immutable remember this one sir frozen frozen set means immutable set is a mutable concept except that all the remaining properties all the remaining remaining properties are same as a set a uh, set set only frozen set and set both the things are okay just the, the difference is set is mutable and the frozen set is immutable okay remember this one sir sir how you can able to create how we can able to create sir frozen set suppose i know it is already set is there sir 10 comma 20 comma 30 comma 40 sir no one is allowed to modify this content no one is allowed to modify this content then what we have to take is frozen set of yes then automatically you will get frozen set object are you getting then automatically you will get frozen set object if you want to create if you want to create create frozen set if you want to create frozen set just uh, with the set uh, you can call frozen set function 
they are not automatically in they are not automatically in we are going to get frozen set object remember sir best example here just have a look once yes is equal to 10 comma 20 comma 30 comma 40 i'm taking sir sir frozen set is equal to frozen set of yes i'm taking are you getting sir now just take a bit very very special case sir print a type of fs what the type of type of fs fs like this i'm taking sir then what is the answer by default you are going to get yes can you please observe that frozen set what the answer we are going to get frozen frozen set remember this one it is a frozen set if you want to access elements uh, present in that for i in for i in yep yes for i in yep yes print uh, i value so every element uh, present in the frozen set can you please print that element then what is the answer by default you are going to get 40 10 20 30 because otherwise no guarantee at all are you getting order otherwise no guarantee at all that's why so suppose i'm trying to change the content yeah just uh, there are one or two doubts are there will be clarified uh ram uh ram Rathav. don't worry index and slicing we are going to discuss in detail soon don't worry about that yes we are talking about Ak uh, akash we are talking about inbuilt data structures only yes a link list of these kind of things we can develop we can develop by using python okay that is the special data structures concept which is not going to be covered here okay next can we create frozen set from beginning for example uh, yes if you want to because if you want to create then here you require to pass like this if you want to create directly then you require to pass like this nothing is there are you getting with this with this setup and yours can you please create frozen set object getting right yeah i'm sorry it is going to print element by element it is going to print element by element first element second element third element fourth element but which element is going to get otherwise no guarantee at all Uh, again, we can execute. Execution order will be changed or not? May not. Because all these are predefined objects, right? Internal hash code is the same. That's why once whatever order you are getting at the beginning, maybe same order. Because we are using predefined objects. If you are going to use your employee objects or customer objects, then automatically there is no change at all. Otherwise, no guarantee. Because now I hope are you able to understand sir fs is equal to just curly brace open and close no chance at all this is the only way ah. any other doubts sir now i have one small doubt sir one small doubt what is this type of this fs are what is the type of fs sir? what the type what the type of fs sir? itself is the frozen setup Sir, now fs dot yard of some 70 I'm taking. Yard of some 70. Can you please tell, is it allowed or not allowed? Ah, 70, not allowed. Because, not allowed. Because the reason is frozen set is, frozen set is immutable. Then how you can change the content? How you can change the content? Have you observed right? Frozen set object has no attribute yard. Has no attribute yard. It is not not possible okay i want to remove i want to remove of 10 sir okay, can you please remove of 10 remove of 10 then immediately it's going to tell no such type of capability so because it is immutable because you are not allowed to change the content any doubt indexing slicing such type of technology not applicable because it is exactly same as set except that immutable Sorry. clear friends so so up to this we had a discussion about list concept is very clear tuple is very clear next time after that set next time after the frozen set okay like we have these four types we discussed right yeah yeah shivaram we will we will discuss that because there is one functionality there 
by using help help functionality or otherwise by using dict and there is some concept there we are going to get which attributes are there for this like we can able to evade clear up to this not required to keep any explanation can i go to the next level okay now sir all these points already there in our material don't worry about that just to download the material in the material already all these points are there you are not required to take even running notes also okay if you observe in your material folder it will be there okay here yeah, just uh, observe a bit carefully today we we discuss we are discussing about uh, have you observed right one minute yes identifiers are data types like uh, here all these things you know if you if you observe that yes here listed data type these are various important points these are various important points next and after that tuple data type tuple data type is exactly same as the list except that it is immutable we can't change the content next the range i didn't discuss i will discuss that set concept okay set concept these are the points insertion order is not preserved duplicates are not allowed heterogeneous objects are allowed index concept is not applicable not applicable okay like this right next up frozen set frozen set it is uh, sir have you observed it is exactly same as set except that it is immutable hence we can't use the add and remove functions have you observed whatever the execution i did there uh, immediately these are the things what you should evade getting right next uh, the material yes already there in your videos folder you can able to download sir already there in your videos folder just all this material you can download there okay now what is the next concept we have to discuss dict concepts are very very important point dict dict concepts are dict means what dictionary dictionary means what key values are getting right dictionary means key values uh, akash just contact our admin people they will they will they will provide access if you are not having the access otherwise from the drive you can able to get i will show sir dict dict data type uh, sir the point here is dict dict type what the meaning of dict sir dict means what dictionary dict means what dictionary dictionary like this right dict means dictionary type dictionary means what key values a group of key value pairs is by default considered as dictionary dictionaries are the most commonly used data type after list is the dict type only right okay how to represent these key values something like roll number roll number and then and then name of the student mobile number mobile number and mobile mobile number and then address address mobile number and then address are you getting roll number name mobile number address mobile mobile number and the address address like this right okay so this one itself is nothing but okay like key values key values these are things are by default considered yes okay these things by default considered yes dictionary dict data type right remember that okay so now here very important loophole is there that part i will i will take care how you can represent a dictionary just observe carefully sir okay d is equal to d is equal to can you please observe if i use a square bracket this is called which notation please confirm ayo square bracket it is called a list it is called a list 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 concept right if i use a parenthesis this is called which notation parenthesis it is called tuple 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 concept right next if i use if i if i use curly braces what is this concept just now i told set concept excellent excellent right there to represent a dictionary which concept must be how i can able to represent anyone can you please tell i want to represent dictionary so then <laughs> what is the remaining <laughs> sir because square brackets already i used it okay parenthesis i used already then what about remaining <laughs> excellent <laughs> okay uh, okay here just uh, take a bit very very special care so dictionary also 
represented by using curly braces only. Remember that. Dict is also represented by using curly braces only. Remember that. Okay. It is also curly braces story dictionary also. Okay. Next, uh, I have a small doubt. Sorry, it is dangerous only. Listen carefully. More concentration must be required. Sir, set and dict. Both are going to use. Both are going to use curly braces style only. Now my question is, if I can take, if I can take, sir, some x is equal to curly brace length. Right? Empty, empty, that's all. Empty, that's all. Print a type of x. Can you please, anyone, can you please guess, sir, what the type of x is, sir? What the type of x, sir? Compulsory output we are going to get. Akansha, some output we are going to get. Can you please tell what the answer we are going to get now? Is it set type or is it dictionary type? Oh, list of. Oh, the usual. It is curly braces. Is it a set or dictionary? Don't try to execute parallelly. Highly recommended. <laughs> okay? Uh, remember that. Remember, remember that. So, it is... Uh, it is by default curly braces means by default curly braces means okay dictionary remember that by default curly braces means dictionary okay dictionary only if you want then if you want that here observe a bit carefully sir but the answer by default you are going to get dictate type only dictate type only dictate type only what is the reason for that? What is the reason for that? It can be set actually. Then why why it is a dictionary only? Very simple, sir. Yamang set and a dictionary, which is the most commonly used. Which is the most commonly used set and a dictionary? Which is the most commonly used data structure? Can you please tell? Is it a dictionary or is it set? Okay, most commonly used data structure in the Python among these two, among these two, dictionary only. Set the, we are not going to use sir. List under dictionary, these two things are most commonly used data structures. Remember, dictionary. Oh, by default, most of the times we are always going to use a dict only. That's why by default it's always a dict type. Remember that. Then immediately may ask, sir, I want to set, I want to set object with zero size. I want empty set object, sir. If you want empty set object, your hand should be like this only. Regarding, you have to specify like that. There is some special convention is there to create empty set object. You have to call set. Regarding, now it will become what the set type. So while using curly braces, take a bit very special care. So this problem is going to come only for empty set. Only for empty empty set only. This problem is going to come sir. Okay, remaining cases, you never going to get, you never going to face this problem. Sir, so, suppose I'm taking curly brace, then comma 20, comma 30. Can you please tell, is it a set, is it a set or dictionary? 10, 20, 30, is it a set or dictionary? This one is a set only, set only because individual objects, it is not key values, individual objects, that's why it is a set. If I can say y is equal to 100 colon Durga. 100 colon Durga, key value, key value, are you getting that key colon value? 200 colon Ravi, are you getting 300 colon Shiva, 300 colon Shiva, okay? This thing is by default considered as a dictionary. Remember this one, are you able to understand? This one is by default considered as a set. Observe the difference, right? Type of X and the type of Y. Now the first one is the set, second one is the dictionary. No problem at all. First one is the set, second one is the dictionary. Okay, but where the problem is going to come, the problem is uh, if it is empty, then only the problem is going to come. If it is empty, by default, it is always treated. Yeah, dictionary only, empty dictionary. Then if it is the empty dictionary, how I can able to tell it is empty set? For empty set, this is the convention we require to use. Take a bit very special care about this one. So empty set a bit dangerous to represent. Just the curly brace open and close. Don't do that. Are you able to understand, right? Please. Are you in the position to understand what the dictionary? 
dictionary is nothing but a group of key value key value pairs itself is by default considered as sir dictionary okay yeah because i didn't get you can you spell out again sir d is equal to how you can able to specify sir sir here just observe that 100 colon durga comma 200 colon colon some shiva like this i'm taking next comma 300 colon okay for one like this i'm taking sir sir have you observed have you have you observed right this is what you people should be aware can you please tell is it is it a dictionary is it a dictionary or not yes it is the dictionary because because internally sir this is the first key and the colon this is the value next this is the first key and this is the value similarly this is the key and this one itself is the value like this type of thing is by default considered as dictionary remember that are you getting so if you want you can able to print the d if you print the d happily the output by default you are going to get in this style okay remember even in the case of dictionary also even in the case of dictionary also order is not important of course there are some important points are there that points i will discuss up to this any doubt up to this any doubt okay well yeah because because he is asking some small doubts uh, to create empty set to create empty set what is the way can you please tell to create empty set what is the way yes is equal to uh, yes is equal to can you please tell what is the way i want to create empty set empty set object can i use is it empty set Ayo. is it empty set no you hey, empty set means you should not take like that it is the dictionary it is the dictionary if you want to do empty set what is the way sir yes is equal to set are you getting this is now because he is asking very interesting doubt <laughs> okay why we are using bracket why don't you curly braces sir it is a method of call it is a method of call method of calls we record to use by using bracket notation only remember that if you want to call m1 m1 if you want to call m1 then not about method of calls we have to specify by using okay bracket notation but not curly braces because clear yeah that's all sir now here this is the first key colon value second key value third key value right sir now there are some multiple points are available here insertion order insertion order is not preserved remember this one so order wise no guarantee at all order wise no guarantee at all in the case of dictionary next the uh, duplicate keys are allowed or not allowed keys keys duplicate keys Ray, please respond duplicate keys are allowed or not allowed allowed or not allowed duplicate keys keys duplicate keys are not allowed not allowed but but values can be duplicated values can be duplicated duplicate keys are not allowed but the values can be duplicated no problem otherwise no guarantee next the uh, heterogeneous objects heterogeneous objects are allowed heterogeneous objects are allowed for both the key and the value Regarding heterogeneous objects are allowed for both the key and the value. Remember this one, sir. Heterogeneous objects are allowed for both the keys and as well as for values also. Okay. Like next, uh, is it mutable or not? Mutable. No problem, right? Is it a dynamic or not? Dynamic. If you want, you can able to increase. If you want, you can able to decrease. All the things are always possible for the dictionary. Remember, these are various points, right? Now I have one small doubt, sir. Okay duplicate keys are allowed or not allowed can you please tell duplicate keys are allowed or not allowed allowed or not allowed not allowed not allowed duplicate keys are not allowed not allowed sir if i'm trying to insert a duplicate key what will happen sir sir 100 durga is already there comma 100 colon 100 100 colon some ravi like this i'm taking sir. okay we have to already this key is there associated with the durga now i'm trying to keep 100 colon ravi so the same key i'm trying to keep what will happen sir very simple very simple sir 
ओल्ड वैल्यू विल बी रिप्लेसर विथ द न्यू वैल्यू सर व्हाट एवर ओल्ड वैल्यू एसोसिएटेड विथ 100 कैन यू प्लीज रिप्लेस कैन यू प्लीज रिप्लेस विथ द दिस वैल्यू रिगार्डिंग कैन यू प्लीज रिप्लेस विथ द दिस वैल्यू if you print if you print of d if i can do what is the output by default you are going to get sir so 100 is associated with ravi but not durga 100 is associated with ravi but not durga old value by default will be replaced with the uh, new value if you are trying to insert a duplicate g clear any doubt are you able to understand right okay these are various important conclusions what you people should be aware right about the dictionary okay but all these things in detail there's a big discussions for there there we are going to specify sir list the set the tuple next uh, and dictionary these kind of things minimum 10 sessions we require to talk a bit in detail with respect to programs but here terminology of for data types we are discussing right next uh, one more very important data type is there to discuss what is that is range is the data type are getting what is that sir range range a data type we have to discuss range function range data type sometimes i can use the word bytes a type and then byte array type are getting bytes a type and then byte array type these are things we require to discuss in detail with that our fundamental language fundamental concept is going to be completed right okay these are things uh, i will discuss in the tomorrow session just one minute